What's up, people? It's me, AMP Collectibles, doing a video related to anime. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a video. I know, I know. I'm not gonna give you guys any excuses. It's really late. I do want to talk about anime right now, though. <clears throat> so this is probably gonna happen more frequently. Where I talk about anime movies I've been watching, horror related now, just because it's October, but. I watch and um horror related stuff anyway. Um it doesn't matter what time of year. Uh I'm big into the scary pastas uh scary scary podcast if to put it in, a, in more simpler terms I, or whatever to just so you guys can understand. So it's basically storytelling in a podcast form. Um I, I do watch some popular ones some more to the criminal, you know, criminal activity and, and like, you know, like kind of like forensic files. It's not, I'm not talking about forensic files, but I'm just saying like a podcast related to that criminal related crimes and stories of crime. Uh, I watch that, I hear it. Um, but there's also the ones about paranormal ghosts. And like glitching the matrix stuff like that. I mean, a huge fan of that. But I got a little tired recently because once you start watching or hearing that stuff, a lot of people tell the same story. I do tend to, the time when I usually uh, watch that stuff or listen to it is when I'm about to go to sleep. It just helps me sleep. Some people, it scares the shit out of them. I get it. But for me, I don't know. I'm addicted to that. So because of that, when I watch it when I'm sleeping, I I tend to go. Uh, I tend to be very caught up to the to the content. So sometimes I'll hear you know the stories all over again. Um, I'm not. I, I'm gonna. St I'm gonna. Um, st not stop. I guess switch genres because I tend to focus more on the paranormal and the the glitch in the matrix stuff so i've heard heard a lot of the similar stories lately and it's kind of annoying but uh we'll see what happens uh so anyway besides that let's talk about some anime anime that i'm watching um or shows that i'm watching as well so i'm watching i'm a huge sci-fi fan and criminal like i just talked about criminal stuff paranormal stuff ghost uh horror and all that stuff so it's going to fall into that genre mostly um so sci-fi wise i've been watching the new quantum leap i've been caught i'm all caught up i've been watching it it's not as good as the original obviously but if you if you liked the original and you want to like have a more woke version of it to be honest then watch the new one. The new one is still not bad. I, I mean, I'm giving it flack, but it, it could be written better. There are some times when I feel like the the older one had better writing. But they do reference the old one, so that's why. It, it's a little bit of fanfare, I guess. So if you enjoy Quantum League, watch the new one. It's not bad. Um, Really, honestly, it's my honest opinion. Um, If I had to give it from a 1 to 10... <sighs> I would say it's about a six, um, because there's just sometimes it's just, <laughs> it throws that woke stuff in there and it's annoying. It's really annoying, but, uh, Hey, Hey, some people like it, I guess. Um, so the, the original one, if I had to give it a score, I'd be, it's an eight. I just, I like the original one more, honestly. It's, I don't know. That's the one I I, rem uh, I have fond memories. I watched it when I was young. You know, I'm not that old, so I watched it when I was young. It was really good, and I'm still watching it. Um, I'm still like, you know, like I repeat watch it, whatever. Um. So then the other show that I'm watching is of course Bob's Burger. Huge fan of Bob's Burger. Keeping up with it. Uh, I think I'm like two episodes behind, so I'm really I'm really all caught up, but. I'm, I still haven't watched the latest two episodes, so, you know, <laughs> enjoy the show, 
if I had to give them from a one to ten compared to the Simpsons, it's not a Simps. I mean, it reminds me of the Simpsons, but it's really um, how would I put it? It it's funny, but it's a different kind of funny, a darker, more subdued comedy. Um, but it, you know, it is a little bit, um, uh, it focuses on, you know, the characters that it focuses on, it's a funny take because, you know, if you're used to the Simpsons or other, other animes where, I mean, American animation where it focuses on the family, you know, so, and it's a family business, right, so it's, it's really interesting, I like it that way too, because of that, but yeah, you know, you know me, if you're, if you know me personally, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a fan, I do enjoy it more than The Simpsons, to be honest, like, Simpsons died out on me, South Park died out on me, you know, stuff like that, I'm, I'm a huge fan of, um, I like, I did like, uh, Futurama, I haven't watched the newer stuff, Rick and Morty, I've been watching that. I, wa- I caught up partly, but I know there's possibly some new stuff that I haven't seen because I stopped watching for a while. So, yeah, I might have to catch up to that, too. I might be talking about that in later episodes. Uh, so now let's get to the anime. Sorry about that. I just want to I have so much to talk about. So um, the anime that I've been watching is Death Note. I've been re-watching Death Note. really enjoy it. If you watch the the live-action movie, it's actually just a summary of the anime. With the anime is better. Obviously, it goes more into depth. And if you really want to even go more into depth, you obviously read the manga. But um, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I have the manga. I haven't ever actually read it, though. Um, and, you know, it, it's it's... But maybe I will. Maybe I will. I haven't said that I wouldn't read it. I just haven't wrote. I haven't read it. So, but uh, for the people who haven't watched Death Note, I'll try to give you a description, but not the way you know IMDb is gonna tell you. So, what do I use to track what I'm watching? By the way, it's not sponsored. I wish that was. But I watch anime. My anime list for the anime. You could also get it on Just Watch, which I also use. But uh, Just Watch is more in-depth when it comes to, like, telling you where to find the anime and what um, streaming John, streaming platform you can find it on. I'm not going to say that's here because you can find it where, you know, if you have a paid site, you might have, you might find some of these animes there. Or you can watch it on YouTube or you can find some way to, you know watch it um just type in google and you know what to do i don't have to teach you how to use google right so um the other thing i've been watching and it oh and it's not sponsored but if you do want to look at an interesting decentralized project search engine i also recommend pre-search i am affiliate i'm not affiliated with pre-search but i do own some uh, just to disclose, I do own some nodes from it, so I do get paid if you join under me, I believe, and or if you use my link, you know, to sign up. So just know that. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see what else. So if you haven't watched it, I'm sorry. <laughs> this video is getting longer. I'm try. I'll try to stay around 15 minutes. If you haven't watched it, I'll give you a brief over overview. It's basically two main characters having a outsmart contest, <laughs> to be honest. And it's criminal related uh, in the somewhat serial killer genre. Um, so if you enjoy that type of genre, check it out in the similar vein. Um, I know I don't want, I don't want to ruin it for people that, um, haven't watched it, but if you have watched it, I know I'm being vague, but I'm doing that on purpose, by the way. 
So the next one that I'm watching is Monster. And Monster is in a similar genre, serial killer-ish, um, hugely good. Uh, another recommend, obviously, I'm not watching bad anime. Sometimes I do. And um, if you enjoy this genre, check them out. Check those ones out because they're really good. I haven't finished Monster, but I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. So, obviously, with with uh, Death Note, I'm giving it a an eight. It's an eight. Um, really good. But I don't have to tell you guys that. I don't think so. Most people that have watched it probably love it. You know, it's a really highly rated uh, anime, and. Um, Monster is also highly um, rated. Let's see. The other um, anime I've been watching is called Boogie Pop uh, Phoenix, which is the, correct me if I'm wrong, the prequel. And there's also uh, Boogie Pop and the Others, which is a sequel. But the prequel came out in the early 2000s. And basically the new one, or the 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 second one came out almost twenty years later. <laughs> That's crazy, um, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I enjoy the newer one. So if you like anthologies and you like um, kind of a, it has a science fiction s- serial killer way of doing things and as Synthetic humans, futuristic. It has a futuristic feel, but it doesn't necessarily say what year it's taking place. And Boogie Pop is a character, or kind of like a they they call they call the Boogie Pop, and it has an interesting story how it got its name too. By the way, if you watch the anime, you know what I'm talking about. But Boogie Pop is like a possessive spirit i i would presume <laughs> i don't know i'm honestly i don't know but i'm really enjoying it and it like possesses usually young women in high school age but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's only going to be a female um but it tends to gravitate to females for some reason um it is like a superhero and the people that it possessed, they don't know necessarily they're being possessed. But it's basically trying to reg, uh, trying to investigate the world from evil, because um, there's like a, it's she, in her own, in in the character's own words, she's like the predator to evil i don't know if i'm saying that i'm paraphrasing by the way um so she's like the reaper to evil and humans it's interesting story like it it all the characters are tied together so it's it's a story arc and future it goes back and forth from the past to the future from the old uh, one that came out in 2000 to the new one, they they are not necessarily tied together, but this, the the old one and the new one do have story arcs, like a whole separate, basically, I don't know how many years have passed, you can't tell, but I'm assuming that some of them could be, like the new one could be, be taking place and it could be the the prequel, or the new one could be the, or the new one is just a sequel. I don't know. I'm confused myself, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, if you get what I'm trying to say. Really interesting anime. It's probably the last one I'm going to talk about. I might leave the other ones to other episodes. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't want to keep you guys too long here. Um, but yeah. Uh, highly enjoyable. Try check it out again. Boogie Pop. I'll leave the link to the trailers and uh, and all that information that you need. 
and uh, see you in the next one. If you haven't, please like and share the video. Sorry about the shadow. I'm trying to keep it uh, leveled. And uh, sorry about if I say and and like too many times. I'm just rusty trying to get back into the swing of things. Don't have my tripod um, because I broke it, unfortunately. And I have to hold it with my hand right here. But uh, like I said, I'll see you in the next one.